Welcome to Tech Brothers with Amir. Today we are going to learn how to use top and rows in SSRS report parameter for default values. We will be creating a report with multi value parameter and then we will be using filter in the data set for the parameter to set the top and rows. We might use top 5, top 4 or top 10 and then what we will be doing, we will create another data set for the available values in that one we would like to have every value coming from the table so let's go ahead and create this report first of all I have written this query so I'm selecting all those fields where country in so you know that when we write in and in the parentheses we write at the rate parameter name that means we are creating multi-value parameter so we are good here copy go to the SSDT right click on the report so add a new item and click on the report and provide the name so I'm gonna call this one top n parameter value add and then go to the data sources or add data source provide the name let's call this one DS sales and now we are going to use the shared data source reference so select the shared data source hit OK right click on the data sets uh, add data set uh, and then provide uh, the name so let's call this one dset sale sales underscore main this is our main query and uh, select the data source paste the query we are all good here and uh, if we go under the parameters uh, a country name parameter is created uh, so right click uh, on the design surface go to insert uh, and uh, bring the table let's uh, get some fields uh, sale person first name last name and uh, country and finally we would like to have a region so let's uh, make this uh, header row bold and provide some background color now our report is ready as of now this parameter is a single value parameter now we need to make this one a multi value parameter so we go to design again right click on the parameter parameter properties uh, and here we have to tell allow multiple values now this parameter is a multi value parameter if we go back to the preview now we can write uh, multiple values here and it will uh, it will show us the data accordingly now at this point uh, we haven't provided any values uh, to this uh, country name parameter what we would like to do we would like to provide the top and rows by default so why we would like to do as a top and uh, let's say you have uh, hundreds of values coming for the country name uh, and uh, you do not want to spin your uh, report for a few minutes uh, and uh, then bring the data for all those countries uh, you would like to start with the maybe top two or top three countries first uh, and then uh, give the list to the user to select all those uh, countries uh, so there are multiple ways uh, to do it let's click on the data sets uh, add data set uh, and here I'm gonna call this one uh, D set uh, top n and uh, sales now here select the uh, use a data set embedded in my report select the data source It's the same data source because we are selecting the data from same database so here we will be saying select a distinct country from DBO total sale so this is the table from where we are selecting our values we go back to the SSMS and you can see that this is the table and if I run this one here I will get all those countries so as of now I have five countries let me go back to SSDT there are multiple ways to handle the things in this video we are trying to show you approach where to use the filters I could have used a row number or select this top five and all those kind of thing in the query to return me top n rows but I would like to show you a way how you can do this thing in the SSRS so this this might not be the best way to do it but this is one way to do it so uh, I prefer writing in queries but you can use the filters that will filter your rows as well so now as of now this is going to return us everything I would like to go to filters and add a filter and say country 
and is equal to we have not equal to like and all those kind of thing I would like to say top n and now I would like to say okay only two values from this uh, all the values return me two values so this is good what we are doing here we are returning only two countries now I go to the country parameter right click here parameter properties go to the default values and get values from the query I'm going to select the data source deset uh, top and sales and then select the value field that's country hit ok now I pre preview my report and as you can see that it is returning me the data for Pakistan and USA so those are the two countries only that's great but uh, I would like to provide all those values uh, to my user if he would like to see the data for other countries uh, so I'm gonna go back design and create a new data set uh, add data set uh, and I'm going to call this one D set uh, all values uh, underscore parameter select the data source and here we will be providing that query we will say no, select distinct country from a DBO sales so this is going to provide us all the value we are not putting any filter here so hit OK now we go back to the country parameter right click parameter properties and in the available values uh, we are going to select the values from the query so data set and all values parameter field value field is country label field is country as well so hit OK now now we preview our report uh, by default you can see that uh, we see the data for only two countries uh, Pakistan and USA and then uh, if I click here I have other countries available to me so if I, I can select all of them and see the data for all of them and uh, if I go back uh, and uh, I can deselect whatever I like so I have choices uh, but when a first time my report is going to run uh, it is going to run uh, for two values uh, so that's how we can provide or limit uh, the number of uh, default values uh, provided to the parameter so our report doesn't have to spin for a long time and then later on if we decide uh, okay we would like to see the data for more countries uh, or more uh, parameter values we can select those values uh, and uh, then uh, rerun our report uh, thanks very much for watching this video and i will see you guys uh, in next video